Andy, it was a great win on Sunday. What are your reflections looking back on the victory at Victoria Road against Port Talbot? When you get to a result like that, it's often the culmination of different factors. Sitting underneath all of that, of course, is a season long's worth of work. Um, so I think everything that we've tried to, to implement, everything that we've spoken about, all of the training, all of the regimes, all of the fitness plans, all of the analysis, all of the uh, psychological elements of, of gelling a team, all came together on the same day. And it's very rare that that happens. So in reality, I think it was one of our best performances of the season. And I think the 3 0 scoreline was more than justified based on the quality of chances and the number of chances that both sides fashioned. So in the end, in terms of answering your question, you know, I, I was really happy uh, and pleased for the girls that all of their hard work, all of their effort and all of their reward came together and gave them one win. I think I've said before, the difficulty in this league is trying to replicate that week on week. And we've had good performances before, we've had good results before. What we've got to learn to do is to use um, you know, our learnings from Sunday and the momentum that, or any momentum that we have gathered to, to push on now in the last few games. That was my next question actually. How important will it be to get that momentum into this next game against Barry? Well, it's massively important because if you look at the games that everybody's got left to play, there are three games left to play. And Port Talbot's wins have come against ourselves and Barry Town. They've beaten Barry Town three times and they've beaten ourselves once. And they've got ourselves in the last game and they've got Barry Town next week. We, of course, have got Barry Town this week. And Barry Town we found difficult, but Port Talbot seems to have worked, worked them out. So that momentum for us now in those next two games is absolutely essential. You know, we can't leave it to the last game of the season and hope that we can beat Port Talbot again. We want to be using what happened last weekend as, as a fillip for ourselves and a motivator to get points out of each of the last three games as best as we possibly can. Moving on to the match this weekend, here at Parkour Stadium, Barrios seem to be the team's bogey team as we've not picked up any points against them, three defeats. Um, how will you look to change that? Well, the first game that we played was the second match day two, second game of the season, and uh, we had a lot of players missing and, and we didn't have players registered. There was a, you, you know, a situation with player registration at the start of the season and we had players that were sitting in the stands that, that we couldn't get on the pitch. So we were playing players all out of position and all over the place. Uh, so, you know, I disbar the first game, discount the first game because, you know, 7-2 wasn't a real reflection of us as a team and who we are today. The other two games uh, have been a lot closer. Nevertheless, we've lost both of those games by two goals, 3-1 away and 2-0 at home. Uh, the, the home game, the 3-1, uh, we didn't play particularly well in the first half. Uh, so I was disappointed with that and the second half was a, it was a lot better performance. The game that we played about a month ago at uh, Jenner Park was a completely different story. You know, we were blighted by the weather, that was the, the storm, and I felt um, we played really, really well in that game. We acquitted ourselves really well. We had one or two half chances and they had three big chances and scored two goals. So the teams are very, very close. Uh, but again, you know, like I said last week, going down to Port Talbot, that counts for nothing. You can be as close as you like. At the end of the day, you've got to bring yourself and your best game to the table to get the wins that you need or get the wins that you think you deserve. And that is the difference. It's not just about turning up and playing a game of football. It's about turning up and competing. Uh, we did that last weekend and that's what we've got to do this weekend. We've got to compete and we're scrapping for our lives. So, you know, that's where we are. When Barry have played against us, they've traditionally been a physical team. Will that be something you'll be looking at to work on in training? Uh, no, not particularly, no. Uh, obviously, we know how they play. Uh, they're very good at moving the ball and they're very good at uh, progressing the ball through the thirds and trying to get their runners in behind. So it's about trying to limit the, the, the number of times that your defence gets exposed by them. Uh, because uh, as a front three, a front five, you know, they are dangerous, it has been proven, you know, I think they are the highest scoring team against us this season. So we have found their attack difficult to contain. So that, that's where we'll be working on. It's not necessarily a physical strength or speed. It's just about the dynamic nature of the movement and the way they move the ball. So it's more to do with um, 
you know, off the ball runs and timing of runs that we need to be uh, working on this evening and, and tomorrow uh, in preparation. The men's team won the Cymru Premier Trophy on Saturday. How much of an inspiration will that be for the players um, of this team to see that trophy in the function room and then hopefully in the seasons to come that could potentially be them in the Azure and Premier? Well, I, of course, it is a motivating factor because, you know, the standard that they've set and, and the week on week performances and results that they've gained in comparison to what we've done is something that we need to aspire towards. There's a lot of noise, a lot of media around the, the men's team and what they have achieved. And as you rightly say, that has to be seen as the standard and the motivator for our team uh, in our league as well. So, yeah, you know, uh, we've congratulated the men. I've seen Anthony today. We've had a face-to-face -face and a little bit of a chat and a, a chat through things, you know, and from a personal point of view, it's hugely inspiring. And obviously I convey that to the girls in our team. And we do, we use that as a motivating factor because we want to be, you know, seen at that similar sort of standard and similar sort of level, uh, you know, as soon as we possibly can. As always, as we end each interview, what is the play availability for Sunday? little bit un on the unknown at the moment uh, we're hoping that the the one or two bits of sickness and uh, injury that we do have at the moment will all be cleared up in time for us to have a full selection hit at the weekend which again will make a selection really interesting with everybody being available bearing in mind what happened last weekend